Hello! Oh, sorry, Todd. Late night. Sorry, sorry. Late yeah. morning. Uh, yeah, afternoon. Right. What? What day is it? Ooh. Yeah, you're fine. Hello, and welcome to Shane Talks Too Much Live, the hippest show done by a non-hipster since the morning announcements at your high school. On this special edition, we preview some of the sessions at the upcoming SharePoint conference. The show will be held under the lights and luxury of Las Vegas Sunday, March 2nd through Thursday, March 6th. And don't forget to pack your bitcoins. Where it is, some of the local establishments in Sin City are now accepting it for payment. Well, I think this might be a step forward. The truth is, until you get a little card, you know, on the street, the ones that people kind of make that little flippy sound as you walk by. No idea what those are, do you, Todd? Never heard of them. Uh, until you get one of those in the corner that says that escort services are accepting bitcoins, you haven't really changed anything. I mean, can you imagine? Yeah, I'll be the one sitting at the end of the bar with a laptop. You'll need to bring a modem and two USB sticks before we start our dates. I don't know about you, but that is just a recipe for bad news. Well, speaking of shenanigans, our first guest tonight is heavy metal rocker Todd Kramer. Welcome, Todd. And it's good to see you. Shane, good to be here. Uh, uh, sorry about uh, dozing off a little bit. Been just tearing it up. Uh, I've been opening on a tour, been opening for uh, Slayer and Stevie Nicks, and those people, uh, they can party like no other, and uh, just, just a little little tired, that's all. But I, I'm, I'm here for you. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Hey, no worries. You know, No matter how much of a slacker you are, no matter how tired you might be, you're still ahead of that Justin guy, so no worries. <laughs> I have no idea who you're talking about. Exactly. <sighs> So, you know, what have you been up to? Have you been touring the world? I mean, what, what, what's going on in Todd Rocker world? Well, well that's really it, just taking, uh, taking the world by storm. Uh, again, got that big uh, big show, been opening for those guys, just been all over, spreading the good news. Um, it, it's, been, it's been a great time. I'm, I'm living the dream, Shane, living the dream. I see. I see you've brought one of your favorite axes. It's, it's the uh, Little Maid Mermaid No String Edition. Yeah, so a lot of folks would be uh, put off by the Little Mermaid and the fact that the fourth string is gone. Turns out that if you have a Little Mermaid on your guitar, you don't need all six strings. Five is just fine. You still sound like a million dollars. So I've been, uh, I've been using that superpower on tour. The crowd loves it. They can't get enough. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, so I see that you're here today to promote uh, one of your upcoming sessions in uh, Las Vegas. Uh, looks like you got a sidekick for the session, somebody named uh, Shane Young, and you're you're doing a session called Load Testing SharePoint 2013 using Visual Studio 2013 hashtag SPC 381. Can you tell me a little more about it? Well, apparently I need to talk to my management because I thought we had gotten him kicked off of that tour. I thought I had a writer in there, you know, uh, no brown M&Ms, uh, take all the W's out, and, uh, and no Shane Young, and, uh, and 36 down pillows in my uh, hotel room. I thought, I thought we had that stuff laid out pretty well, but apparently my manager slipped up. But, so I guess that, uh, that Sean Fung, whoever that guy is, I guess he's going to be there too. Um, but I'm, I'm taking a break on the tour. We're stopping in, uh, stopping in Vegas for a couple of nights, and we're going to do the big SharePoint conference. And the session that you talked uh, talked about, uh, hashtag three eight one, which is uh, ironically also the number of groupies that I uh, entertained last evening, um, is going to be all about taking that disgusting, filthy, dirty developer tool, Visual Studio, and turning it around and using it for good. And it's going to be using uh, administrators using Visual Studio to just beat the tar out of their SharePoint farms, just just push them to the very limits, just just knock them out, make them work as hard as they can, so that they're sweatier than Keith Richards after a three-day bender. And then we can take that, we can take that information that we found when we broke that farm down. We're going to break it down. We're going to build it up better. And if it if it needs more RAM, we're going to put that in. If it needs faster hard drives or better network, we're going to figure all that stuff out. So that when we're done after all of our testing. We'll have a SharePoint farm that we're, we're proud to take home and introduce to mom. Well, you know, I've taken home and introduced a lot of things to mom, but I've never taken a SharePoint farm. Uh, you know, I've seen some of the things that you've taken home to your mom. You, you a hey. SharePoint farm probably be a step up. I'm just, I'm just trying to help you out. Just trying to help. You easy mom. there, easy there. You know. Just, I'm, I'm here for you. <sighs> yeah. Well, I mean, I definitely can tell. You mentioned your uh, your fancy pillows you want. You've got some serious bedhead. I mean, is that a new look that you and Bieber are coming up with? The, the hair sticking out sideways. 
So I don't need to tell you this, but I take my image very seriously, and it's always at the forefront of my mind. And so I've done a lot of crazy things with my hair over the years. You know, I had the George Clooney cut for a while and all that, but I've decided to go back to my roots, literally. So I'm just, my stylist and I, we, we did some focus groups and all that, and we decided to just go with the natural look. So this is actually my natural hair, uh, you know, my natural color, and just letting it grow out. And I think, uh, I think that the chicks dig it. It's, it's, it's a good big hit. Yeah, well, I see, speaking of going, uh, you know, old school, you're rocking the Burt Reynolds uh, Trans Am oh, t-shirt. Oh, yeah, so I have the, uh, the the heavy metal Trans Am on the shirt here. A little known fact, Burt actually sent me this shirt himself. He's a huge fan of my work. Uh, his favorite song is my my big hit, Naughty Mallards. That's uh, that's his big mood. But, but Burt sent this to me himself. He autographed the tag. I, I could I could take it off and show you if you'd like. No, 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 no. It's family show, family show, uh, FCC. But yeah, so Bert, Bert's a big fan. A shout out to my man, uh, my man Bert. Fair enough. Well, Todd, that all sounds awesome. I, I just want to say thanks for joining us today. Um, you know, you and this great studio audience we've had done a wonderful job. Oh, thank, oh, sir, please put your shirt back on. No, no, this is a fan. Oh, come on, jeez. Yeah. Oh. That Justin guy has went like two minutes without screwing up the show, so oh. we are just rolling through here. It's a good um, day. So next up, we're going to interview Todd Quint, the Space Cowboy. Oh, that man is amazing. I know. We're going to talk about a session on the nuts and bolts of upgrading the SharePoint 2013 FPC 410. That will be killer. I, I can't. I can't wait. And really, you know. So if you want to see that interview, jump over to the page and check it out. Um, Todd, you want to play us a little ditty? Because you know, after all this, I just I got to get out of here. Ah! Todd Quint, the Space Cowboy. You're an inspiration to us all. I wish I was good looking like you. Oh, 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 oh,